Hey everybody, it's Irene with Brainstorm Makers. Yesterday we got the tomatoes in place and here these are all the terminate tomatoes. Today I need to get the irrigation. So I'm going to get you guys set up so that you can watch me do this. you watched me do it a bunch of times before, but hey, I'm doing it again. So, so are you.
Okay, weeds are out. Irrigation is on the other tomatoes. Now what I have to do is figure out how many tomatoes are actually going to go in here. This is going to be indeterminate tomatoes. So every two feet. This is a, about a 15 foot bed. So I can get quite a few in here if I need to. Uh, but that's going to take some decisions on the irrigate on the uh, hydroponics first. Yeah, lots going on. So be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell because there's plenty of un beds around here that aren't even planted yet. The, uh, the other half of the snow pea bed is not planted. That was originally peas, which were completely devastated by the mice. Do not ask me why they ate the peas and not the snow peas, but whatever. I'll take the fact that they left me the snow peas. I'm getting a nice harvest off of them now. This bed here, uh, which we're currently growing <laughs> California poppies in, I'm trying to see if I can get some seed pods off before I have to pull those. I might plant, I might plant, uh, I might plant, oh, husk cherries, that's what it was. I might plant husk cherries in this end of the bed. Husk cherries are in the same family as tomatoes and tomatillos and peppers. But uh, that bed was last used for beans, peas, legumes. So we're good putting stuff there. I am trying to figure out where I want to put my roselles. Do I want to put them in the other end of this pea bed, or do I want to put them over there? I want to be able to see them from the house and watch them and stuff like that. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping we'll have some very cool flowers and very cool products out of that. So, yeah. And yesterday I noticed in this bed here, there's some nigella, which is loving a mist volunteer that had come up at the other end. It's funny because I had planted some there probably five years ago and it just keeps coming back. It doesn't do great there, but it just keeps coming back and it comes back enough that it's apparently produced a seed. So I'm hoping to be able to water it better this year and make it happy because I really love the digella and I don't have any in these beds currently. I have my seedlings didn't come up really well this year, but I do have some now and I want to stick a couple in there because I love the fact that they'll self seed and stuff like that and they make a very cool looking flower so yeah so until next time bye